High school football is back. It's game night across the first coast as high school football returns here in the Sunshine State. The week one sideline 2024 game of the week is taking us to bowls, and that's where we find our sports director Chris Porter tonight. And Chris, you guys have some big plans even with the rain. We do have some big plans, Anthony. Despite the rain, it's not going to damper our mood at all. You're talking about two of the best high school football teams in our area going head-to-head -to -head tonight and rains and bowls. And whenever these two prep powers go head-to-head, -head, it's always an instant classic. Now, let me give you an aerial look of what we're facing right now. The game is set to kick off at 730. Now, as you heard, our chief meteorologist uh, Tim Deegan said a second ago it's nasty it's raining and now that we're showing you an aerial shot and we can show the field Paul let's show them the field uh, this these wet soggy conditions you better make sure you hold on to the football now joining me now is first Coast sports sports reporter Ashley Gonzalez she will be all over our heart of the game stories this year and uh, Ashley you got a story on some Queens of the north side Queens and from a historic program over at rain. So Chris, it's one thing to be good at a sport, yep. right? But it's another thing to be good at that sport while also being someone to look up to in the community. That's exactly what rain's cheer is known for. And I had a chance to talk to them and meet several of them. Check it out. They are well spoken. They're manable. They're everything that you would want younger students to be able to look at and say, okay, if I do what this student has done, can I have the same success? Miss Reigns, Miss Viking, and Miss Senior are all cheerleaders at Reigns High School. They're selected by their classmates, but ultimately put on the court for their grades and community work. We have two young ladies that are in the top five of the class. Reigns cheerleading coach Cassell Bell knows how important it is for young athletes to set a goal and stick to it. She was on the Reigns court when she was in high school. It gave me guidance and discipline because if I wasn't disciplined and if I didn't stay the course, I can always fall off and somebody else would be there to take my spot because if you don't do right, you're removed. Tashai Maple is Miss Senior. She's also the oldest of several sisters and says she wants to set the best example for them. I want to be that role model and have integrity and showing them that they can do this no matter what obstacles that may come their way. You know, strive for your best, do what you can do, and never let anybody tell you what you can't do. Ilana Smith is Miss Reigns. She believes working to be on the court will set her up for the future. I take pride in building myself with a lot of responsibility because I know when I grow up that I would like to have a life of responsibility so that I can just indulge myself in success. They know they're part of Reigns' legacy and hope to strengthen the reputation of not only Reigns High School, but Reigns cheer. I hope that the next court, the 2025 and 2026 school year, that they build up upon that. The, direct, the athletic director told me they don't look at the next four years after graduation. They look at the next 40 years. But what I'm looking for is the next couple of hours on this field right here. This is the perfect football weather. Am I right? I can barely see you because I have some, some rain on my glasses, but no problema. Chris, back over to you, my guy. All right, Ashley Gonzalez doing her thing. Good story on the Queens of the night. And be sure to join me and the entire First Coast Sports team tonight at 730 on ABC 25 for our Sightline 2024 Ultimate Game Day Experience show. We'll be checking back in. We'll be checking in on the defending state champions, the Hawthorne Hornets. Also, I've got a memorable moment. I'm taking you down memory lane. A lot of good stuff. That's tonight at 730 only on ABC 25. Now back here live here at Bowles. Again, the rain is starting to stop. Chief Meteorologist Tim Deegan, I'm going to be tuned in a little later because we're here on the south side. And just please, I hope you have some good news that this rain is going to move out. Again, we'll see you later at 530. Back inside to Anthony and Jeannie.